This video is divided into different sections. Use the timestamps in the description to get to the part you want. Today we will be looking at all the features that Quark adds. But what exactly is Quark? Quark is a vanilla enhancing mod that adds over 100 different features that should be in vanilla Minecraft. And today we will review all of them. I will also emphasize which features were added in 1.16 for people that are still stuck in 1.15.2. Now let's start. Automation. Iron chains. You can chain boats or minecarts onto each other. That was removed in 1.16. Chute. Items inserted drop to the ground precisely in the middle of that block. Disable it with a redstone signal or by placing a block. Color slimes. Colored slime blocks. Different colors don't stick to each other if they aren't made out of each other, like blue and cyan or red and magenta and red and yellow because they are made out of each other. Dispensers can now place blocks. Seeds also count. Eye watcher. Emits a redstone signal when you look at it. Depends how far you are and if you're looking directly in the middle of it. Enemites form shulkers. After some time, enemites can vary into purpur, transforming into shulker boxes. Feeding trough. Automated breeding. Just fill it with the desired material like wheat and the laugh begins. It works of course for every animal like sheep or pigs. Sometimes they need more food to enter love mode. They don't produce XP. If there are more than 32 animals in a 10 block radius, they will only eat and not breed. Gravy sand. It won't fall unless it receives a redstone signal. If it can't fall but still receives a signal, then it will begin to float. Gravisand also propagates the signal to other gravisands, causing them to fall or to float. Iron Rod If a piston pushes an iron rod, it breaks the block it touches. This works for all blocks that the piston can push, so not obsidian for example. All drop themselves of course, but diamond and coal drops the material, not the block. Iron and gold buttons. Iron has a very long signal, gold very short. Redstone circuits. Randomizer randomly decides if the signal should be transferred to the left or the right, per signal of course. Inductor sums up the redstone strength of all three inputs. It can also be locked by placing a repeater or a comparator next to the input. Obsidian pressure plate can only be activated by a player. Pistons move a tile entities like chests or furnaces, even if they have contents. They can't move a spawners, though. Weather sensor emits a signal when weather is clear or rainy. Right click to invert, so it only emits a signal if it rains or thunder. Building. Bamboo mats. Uh, crate book looks. This was added in 1.16. Coalstone bricks. Compressed blocks. Charcoal block burns forever. Blaze lantern out of blaze rods and powder. Three types of bonded leather normal, rabbit, and revenger. Sugar cane, bamboo, cactus, chorus fruits, and sticks can be made into pillars like blocks. Apples, golden apples, potatoes, carrots, and beetroots into crates. Golden apple crates work also as a beacon base. Cocoa beans. Sweet berries, in other words, gunpowder, can be crafted into sacks. Desk bound, made out of obsidian plus purple. There can also be lamps. And in 1.16 plus, they are immune to the dragon. Framed glass and paints. Gold bars, iron grates. Animals are afraid of walking on them. Items fall through them though. In 1.16 plus, animals can be pulled over grates with elite. Iron plates, made out of iron. Rusty variant, made with water buckets. Item frame variants can now be dyed. Glass item frames. The frame becomes invisible when placing an item in it. Wallpaper by putting a banner inside a glass item frame. Leaf carpets. In every type of leaf, blossom variant if you have those trees enabled. Lit redstone lamp. Midori. Counterpart to pupil, made out of cactus paste and cactus melted in a furnace. You can convert them into green dye. More brick types, e.g. snowy, charred, sandstone. For every type, there's a whole set, of course. In 1.16+, plus, a blue nether brick made out of warped and nether bricks were added. More potted plants, like sugarcane, melons, nether warts, or even coarse fruits. More stone variants for granite, diorite, and andesite. 
nether brick fence, paper decor, paper walls and lanterns. Quilted wool, not yet in 1.16, wool made out of string, has to be attached to the bottom of a block and you can climb it up. Uh, you can pull up blocks and it can be dropped down with right clicking. Shallow dirt. Hole on a path block. Can be waterlogged. Looks weird with shaders, so here it is without. It looks like puddles. Shingles. Tile style terracotta blocks. A hole set in an every color. Soul sand bricks. Stained planks. Every color and of course with a hole set. Sturdy stone made out of cobble and normal stone cannot be pushed by pistons. Pick drop now tallow. It can be used either as fuel for furnaces or made into candles in every color. They drop like sand. Thatch made out of wheat. Lead from fence to fence. Then work with shaders. Turf made out of tall grass a whole set. And it doesn't decay if a block is placed above it. More bookshelves in every boot type, even crimson warped. Chest variants, even mushroom, pupa or nether brick. There's also always a trap version for everyone. Leather variants in every wood type, even crimson warped, and iron leathers, which can even stand for themselves. Vertical planks. And vertical slabs. Client. Camera mod. Press F12 to open. Press 1 to apply filters, there are over 20. Press 2 to see filter size borders, they, don't, they aren't on the screenshot. Press 3 to get borders. Press 4 for overlay like the date. Shift and 5 to reset. With enter you can make the screenshot F12 for escape. Chest sorting works also for renamed items and inventory. Green uh, grass. Improved mount hut. Hunger bars shown. XP bar only vanishes when you hold down space. Improved tool tips. Shows extra details when you hover over items, like a chance compatibility, content of shoulder boxes and maps, armor and tool stats, situation of food. Press mouse button 4 to undo or cancel an action. Usage ticks shows how much items or blocks you have left of that type. Also shows the state of your armor, e.g. when it's being damaged or when you put it on. Variant animal textures, pigs, cows and chickens now have different textures. Management. Chests in boats. Right click a boat with a chest. To access the inventory, get into it and press E. Easy transferring. Easily insert or extract items from your inventory or chest. If you hold shift, then only shared blocks or items are transferred. F to switch. Works now in your inventory. Hotbar changer. Press Z to switch to one of your inventory hotbars. And by pressing either 1, 2 or 3. Cancel it by pressing again Z. Inventory sorting. Now your inventory can be sorted into categories. Item sharing. While looking at an item in your inventory, press Shift T to share it to the chat so other players can check it out. Shulker box right click. While holding an item, right click on a shulker box to add it in its inventory. Mobs! Crabs. You find them on beaches. Get too close and they prick you. They drop rarely crab legs or shells, bread with chicken, wheat or any fish. They dance to music and their legs are a good meal. With the shell you can make the potion of stability, um, gaining more knockback resistance. Fox hounds. They are hostile and all, all around the nether. They will set you on fire. If you drink a fire resistant potion though and feed it cold, then you can tame it. They are like wolves, only they sleep on magma blocks or other hot blocks. If it's on a furnace, the furnace gets faster, that's a stack. And in 1.16 plus, if one spawns in Soul Sand Valley, you get uh, a blue soul fire fox sound. Frogs, found in swamps, can be bred with spider eyes or any fish. Drop, they drop frog legs, can be cooked or made golden. With that, you can make potion of leaping. Stone links, spawns in the caves. If you don't sneak, they will run away and vanish. Sneak up on them and one-shot them to get the item they carry. Very rarely, they drop the Heart of Diamond. You can get your very own stone when clicking on a stone block. With shift click, give them up a whole stack of items to carry. When holding a diamond, they follow you and you can heal them with stone. Tortoises. They are very slow and spawn underground with a random type of ore, coal, iron, lapis or redstone. Attack it with a pick to get the ore. Feed a cave roots to regenerate a random ore which has a cooldown of 1 minute. 
It can be fed through the feeding trough. They can't be bred, and you have to transport them with minecarts. Iron rods break also the ores. Tools. Ancient tomes. Rare loot from dungeons or strongholds. Higher level of enchant to increase it to one level, if combined with the enchanted books. 35 levels to make it and 35 levels to apply it. Bowl cloud. If you use a glass bowl between y equals 126 and 132, you get a bowl cloud. You can place it in the air, but it will disappear after a few seconds. If you replace it with the block, it goes back into the bowl. Colored runes. Rare loot from dungeons, temples and nether fortresses can be applied on an enchanted item to change the color of the enchanted glint. If you combine all 16 colors, you get a rainbow rune, which changes color over time. Pathfinder maps. Cartographer now sell Pathfinder maps that take you to a certain biome. Apprentice, a snowy tundra, mountains, a dark forest, desert, savanna. Journeyman, a swamp, um, giant tiger, flower forest. Expert, jungle, by bamboo jungle badlands, master mushroom fields ice bikes. In 1.16 plus, it got changed that uh, they only sell these maps in expert or master level. More biomes can be added via config. Pick a ring. New tools for mining. A boomerang pick, crafted with the heart of diamond, um, dropped by stoner links. Break anything in its way and come back with the drops. Make it make the netherite upgrade in the smithing table, and it can be enchanted. Slime bucket. Right click on a tiny slime to put it in a bucket. It will jump when you are in a slime chunk. To release it, right click on the ground. Trowel. Easily crafted. Replaces a random block from your inventory. Good for runes. Breaks after 256 blocks and all four stack. Tweaks. Armed armor stands. Now every armor stand has arms so you can give it items. Automatic recipe unlock. As soon as you join a world, all recipes are unlocked, even from other mobs. X leaf harvesting. As quick as shears. Don't drop leaves, but saplings, sticks or apples. Campfire boost elytra. If you place a hail bale under the campfire, it will boost you. Dirt to path. Double door opening. When you respawn a dragon, it will drop dragon scale, which can duplicate an elytra. Emotes. Open your chat and you can start using emotes. There are 12 different ones. You can also add a keybind to your favorite emote to use it as quickly as you want. Enhance letter. Right click on a letter to place another one under it. Open your inventory and your character sneaks. Look down to slide down quickly. Glass shards. Glass drop now glass shards. Combine them to get the glass back. Mix them to get dirt glass, smelt that in a furnace to get normal glass. Works with fortune, of course. Hole harvesting will break a 3x3 area, um, but diamond holes even a 5x5. Works with fortune. Infinity water bucket. Enchant infinity. You don't have to worry to find water again. Lock rotation. Press K to lock the rotation of a block, like vertical slabs uh, while looking at them. To unlock, press K again. Not block mob sounds. Attach a mob head to a not block to hear that respective mob sound. Pet the dogs. A shift click to pet your doggy. Works also with foxhounds, but rather don't do it without fire resistance. Poison potato usage. Poison a baby animal with a poisonous potato. Now it won't ever grow. Reach around placing. Can be done horizontally and vertically. Scaffolding substitution. Right click and it will try to make a chain the way you are looking. Shift click to place them normally. Sign editing. Right click to edit your sign. Simple harvest. A right click to replant. It works also with hoe harvesting. Snow golem player head. Rename Apple golem to a Minecraft player. If it gets killed by a witch, it will drop it in the head of the Minecraft player. Springy slimes. Now items balance on slimes. Didn't work in 1.16. Utility recipes. Just a bunch of recipes that make your life easier. Also, a dragon breath bottle will now be consumed when brewed. Torches can be used as fuel, rotten flesh and poisonous potato in the composter. Villager follow emeralds. Hold an emerald block and they will follow you. World. Big stone clusters. Variant stone types generate in rare massive clusters. Varies by biomes. Biotite, a new ore spawning in the end. Blossom trees, uncommon trees, each color in a different biome. Here you can see all of the variants. K 
Cave roots on the wall of caves. Harvested to get cave root, a new food item, or, and also a way to get a potion of resistance. Crevices. Uncommon sideways ravines. Fairy rings. This you can find in forests and plains. There are flower circles. Dig in the center to get emeralds or diamonds. Mega caves. Extremely rare. Big lava lake. Mega dungeons. Massive rare dungeons. But really look at that, they are just massive. A lot of loot and monsters, even challenges. Monster boxes, randomly in caves, will spawn in some monsters, but those monsters give you epic loot though. Nether obsidian spikes, they are rare in the nether, but if you happen to find a big one, there's a blaze spawner and good loot underneath the blaze lantern. New stone types, slate, limestone, marble, jasper, and Basalt, which got renamed in 1.16 to Voidstone. Realistic wool type, a new wool selection, rolling hills and tall mountains. Speleothem, generate in caves and in the nether. Underground biomes, brimstone underneath mesas, strong orange, oceanian plus lava, so better watch out. Crystal caves, everywhere. New cave crystals, only two colors from seven, can be crafted into colored runes, can be grown if placed deep underground, particles mean they grow. Ala Prismarine, under oceans. Ada Prismarine blocks sea lanterns and water. Also, here you can see all of the new blocks that you can craft with Elder Prismarine blocks. Glow Shroom, underneath mushroom islands and mountains. Mushrooms can be bone meal to get giant variants, or also brewed into potion of danger side. There, with danger side, you can see areas where monsters can spawn. They are highlighted with particles. Lush, underneath jungles with vines and foliage. Overgrown, underneath a forest, trees, coarse dirt and leaves. Permafrost, snowy biomes. Packed ice and permafrost, also here you can see the new blocks you can make out of permafrost. Sandstone, underneath deserts, sand, sandstone and dead bushes. Slime, swamps, terracotta, flooded floor and a bunch of slime blocks. Spider nest, underneath plains, I couldn't find that in 1.16. New blocks, the copped stone. If a zombie spawns on a copped stone, it, it gets transformed into a wrapped. It inflicts slowness but drops cobwebs, so now you can farm those strings. Claim generates underneath like dirt. And that was all of the features from Quark. Wow, that took me so long. So maybe consider to leave a like because that was just hours and hours of preparation. Now I would say we will see us in the next video and also comment down below which big mod I should review next. Ciao!